Hello. So we were talking about production possibility frontier in the last lecture. And uh, I told you that it shows you the maximum possible production with the given resources and given technology. What that means is that, that if this is the production possibility frontier, you can't be outside the production possibility frontier. It's not possible because it shows the maximum possible production. But you can be inside a production possibility frontier. And when you could be inside the production possibility frontier, why does that happen? Why are we not on the production possibility frontier itself? And I told you that that happens because of some kind of inefficiencies. So the inefficiencies can be of what kind? One can be, I just do not know how to use this machine. If I don't know how to use this machine and I start using it, of course, I would not come up with the maximum possible production, right? It's not possible. You can't have maximum possible production when you do not know how to use this machine. So that is called technical inefficiency. I'm given gun and I don't even know how to aim and shoot. What is the point? I cannot do the maximum possible production with that. So basically, any kind of thing where you do not know or you cannot master the technology of production, then you are technically inefficient. And it is kind of sad that as far as India is concerned, um, for most of the products, we are not on the production possibility frontier. We are below it usually. So given the same resources, we are able to produce much less than what many other nations are able to produce, or we are able to produce products which are of not the same quality as some other nations. So in this, that sense, we are not very good, we are not very efficient as far as technology is concerned. So how will I define a technologically efficient nation? A nation which given its resources cannot produce more than what it is producing now. What that means is that it is producing the maximum possible production. It is on PPF. So a nation that cannot produce more with the given resources is the nation which is on production possibility front. Or the nation which cannot produce the same thing with lesser resources. It is one and the same thing, right? Given the resources, this is a maximum. If I want to produce this much, whatever it is, how much resources do I require? Would I be able to produce with lesser than lesser resources than this? No. So I am producing, say, 40 chairs in a day in my company, and I have three workers working, and they all are experts. Okay. So with three workers, I am able to produce 40 chairs a day. So if I am technologically efficient, given three workers, there is no way I will be able to produce more than 40 or given the, uh, the technology with the, if I want to produce 40 chairs, I will not be able to produce it with less than three workers. Both the ways I am optimal. I cannot improve. I am on the maximum production possibility frontier. So this is what is a technologically efficient nation. And as I say, we are not technically very efficient nation, unfortunately. The second kind of inefficiency is the allocative inefficiency. Allocative inefficiency is that a nation tries to ape others. So for example, I have lots of laborers, but I want to produce the way USA produces. So USA, you know, they have like vast stretches of lands, vast, hundreds of kilometers. So each farmer has like at least about uh, 10 kilometers of land or something like that. So it's impossible for him to actually tend to everything. So they hire helicopters which actually spray pesticides on their lands. Now imagine this tiny little marginal farmer of India who has just half acre of land and then decides to use helicopter to spray pesticide on his land. 
Does that make sense? It doesn't. So, allocating efficiency. You see what resources you have. You see how you can allocate them to the best possible use. And then you become allocatively efficient. You have a lot of labors. So then you use the technology which would use a lot of workers. You have very few workers, but you have a lot of money. So you will choose a technology which would use a lot of machines and lesser of laborers. And then you will be fine. You will be able to produce a lot. So the, similarly, if you have a lot of land, then you would use the technology which would be requiring a lot of land. Like, as I said, hiring of a helicopter. But if you have very little land, then you are going to be hiring a technology which would give me the same output. So you know what Indian farmer does? Indian farmer actually looks at each and every plant and then sprays the pesticides accordingly. That, okay, here, there is this particular branch is So chalo, let's properly remove this kida from here. So you pay such micro attention that your production increases. So some people increase their production by spraying pesticides through helicopters. We increase our production by paying individual attention to each and every plant. But we reach the same level of production. That is allocative efficiency. You use your resources in best possible manner. So if you have a lot of unemployed people, you can't be on production possibility frontier. Because what that means is that, that the moment you put all your unemployed laborers to work, you will be able to produce more. Given the same resources, if you can produce more, you are not on production possibility. To be on PPF, you have to have used all your resources to their best possible use. That is allocated efficiency. Use all your resources, use them in the best possible manner, and then you reach the PPF. So that is another way of looking at it, that I need to understand what I have, what I own as resources. And then I should make sure that I'm using it to the best possible way. And then I am on PPF. Okay. So as far as Bhagwan Ram was concerned, Bhagwan Ram is not supposed to be using Gada because then Bhagwan Ram cannot be on PPF. So first he has to realize what are these inner resources that I have? What am I the best at? And then put that to the best use. So I am very good at archery and I will do archery and then I will be on PPF. Nobody can defeat. Okay. So that is the PPF. Now we come to the third kind of inefficiency. The third kind of inefficiency is called the X inefficiency or X efficiency. So now look at your class you are such a huge class and you have so many students all of you are given the same classroom the same hostels the same books same library and same teachers and in spite of that some people score nine point some people are nine pointers some people are seven pointers some people are five pointers so you see there is this difference in our capabilities our abilities there is something which is naturally inherent in us, which enables us to produce in certain manner only. So however much I try, I will not be able to come out with the theory like Einstein. It's just not me. So Einstein has efficiency, which I can't gain. But it is that brain is more efficient than mine. X efficiency. You can't pinpoint it. You can't put your finger on it, but you know that it is better. X efficiency. So, for example, some people are extra actors and some people become superstars. X efficiency. Some people with the same kind of product achieves the sales which are very, very high. And some people make losses. X efficiency. So, this inherent human capability to achieve something is what X efficiency decides. That it is something which is inherent within you. It is not something which you can develop. It is there. So Shakuntla Devi can actually recite figures which are like eight, nine uh, digits long. And uh, 
we will not be able to do that even with three digit figures x efficiency okay so and even for nations this factor of x efficiency matters so for example if a nation is known to be the nation of extremely hard working people like say the japanese then that nation is supposed to have x efficiency you would do everything the same way as they do but they will do it better because they are just such hard workers such perfectionists that they would always do it better so this is what is x efficiency so there are three types of efficiencies technical technical allocative and x efficiency and these three are the ones which put you on the production possibility frontier and the lack of this is going to make sure that you are inside the pdf you cannot reach the pdf you can't be on the highest point of view so with that i will uh, end today's lecture and uh, we will talk about now why the ppf is concave in the next case see